Geologically, Elgon is an extinct volcanic mountain with steep slopes and loose material. Experts say such soil has become super saturated when there is accelerated rainfall. But how can the people get to know the sensitivity of such land they are tilling and building homes upon? Leaning structures like a, like a house beginning to lean, we will also see new cracks developing in the houses. Also look at trees, especially the trees which have got deep roots. When you see the trees which have got deep roots beginning to lean, it means that the whole mass is moving. Dr. Bagora says such soil or land creep can be catastrophic if it moves. The bottom line is that where the cracks have developed, where you see uh, renewed land slips occurring and rain is continuing, get out of that until you get into a dry season because moisture is building up and it is telling you that I am cracking. He also adds that cracks have always been there where top weathered material glide over a firm bedrock. The slope is, exists in a delicate balance. It is only when the downward push or forces overcome the resistance that is created by the, the, the friction between the weathered material and the non-weathered material, it is when the balance is over top. He explains how the vegetation cover protects some of these steep slopes from creeping. The roots act like fingers. They grab, grab and hold uh, the agglomerates and other soil materials onto the slope. They also act as nails. They dig into the rock and anchor the material onto the rocks and lying. For the people of Manafa and Bududa, the writing is on the wall and hundreds have moved from these risky areas. There are still some members who are trying to register, but it is still difficult. I have two children, but they have no blanket, we have no bath, even a mattress. The displacement presents new challenges to the government and humanitarian agencies that are meant to shelter and feed the people. Patrick Amara, NTV Tonight.